นะมพลังจิ้งของโซยาคือสิ่งที่จะทำให้ฉันอยู่ใกล้ที่สุดในใจแต่เฉพาะเมื่อมีคำถามเกี่ยวกับการแบ่งปันข้อมูลเกี่ยวกับการทำสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจังหวัดอิสระมาฮายฉันเป็นนักสงครามในพื้นที่ของจัง What is going to happen is I'll briefly explain on land preparations what you are seeing in the background, uh, applying of inoculant and planting, including how to increase the plant population in your field. The more the population, the better the yields. So right now, what we are doing right now is uh, we are actually doing what we call, in other ways, I can call it reaping. Most of the time, reaping is done by either a tractor. Or cows. In this case, what we did is we had to plow this land. Okay, we had to plow this land. After that, now we leveled everything. Now we are putting in the, the, the lines. So what we are doing is, is we've got this rope, which we are using for making sure that the lines are straight. We are not going to do ridges. The reason is we want to increase on the plant population because most of the time, if you plant the normal Five centimeters apart, the plant population goes down. But if you do this method, what is going to happen is we are going to increase the plant population. Because instead of you following the five centimeters apart, what you'll be doing is you'll be semi-broadcasting, like I'm going to show you later as we go ahead and mix the inoculant. So you can come closer. So as you can see, these lines are 50 centimeters apart. 50 centimeters apart. This is equally the same as reaping. As you saw, I was making these lines. These are the same lines where we are going to plant. So come with me as I show you how to do the mixing of inoculant and um, seed. And later on, I'll show you how to plant. Somebody can continue. Hi, welcome once again. So what we are doing right now is uh, we've got everything here. Uh, we have our packet of inoculant. What you need is this is a 50 kg of soybeans and then this is a 250 grams. Which meaning that with a 50 kg of soybean seed, we need uh, a 250 grams of inoculant. And then we have our sugar. Okay, the reason why, I keep on saying, the reason why we apply sugar is sugar doesn't do anything to the plants. It's just a sticker. It just helps the inoculant stick to the seed. If you've got any other better sticker, you can as well use it. And then, again, we have got water. We have got water. This is just ordinary water, which can be... I think which can be this is just ordinary water. It's just ordinary water. So now what we, how we are going to do the measurements is it? Like I said, you need this. It's called bulk fertilizer. You need this. Okay. For for a 50 kg. Okay. This is going to add some enzymes in the soil and it's also going to add some bacteria and other nutrients in the in the soil so that your soya beans can grow well, can germinate well. So now, instead of us putting this whole thing in this, we don't actually do that. What we are going to do is we'll be taking them 
bit by bit. The reason is once you apply fertilizer, once you apply inoculant to your to your soybeans, it means the seed has to be planted within 24 hours. So how do we avoid that having excess seed? What we do is we get bit by bit. For example, you can get 10 kgs of your soybean seed and then get three tablespoons of this and then you mix. After you are done planting, that's when you go back and get another. You don't actually mix the whole bag, but just in case you fail to finish. So what we are going to do is, um, uh, I have, this is the approximately, this is approximately, I think about this is about uh, 250 to 300, and that's approximately about uh, 10 kgs. Okay, you don't need a scale to measure this, you just approximate, because we cannot manage coming with the, we cannot manage coming with the, with, 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 with the scales. So, what we are going to do is, uh, we will actually do the mixing, to start with the sugar. I've done this demonstration before, but people asking me this, people asking me the same questions. So what we are going to do is we'll get the three tablespoons of sugar. We get the three tablespoons of sugar. And then now we put the sugar in here. your sugar you close it this is very highly concentrated you make sure that it is dissolves completely this is a 500 mils bottle so we've actually done almost half which is about 300 mils so it has to be it has to dissolve completely so that it's Uh, all mixed. I think this is almost done. So now what we do is we get our soybeans. This is my dinner soybeans. You can tell dinner has got a black a black eye. Dinner has got a black eye. This is how you tell that this is dinner or not. So what we do is we are going to get this and then. We mix thoroughly uh, here. Like I said, this is just a sticker, so it will be more like you put moisture to your fair bliss, which is ready to be planted. We mix thoroughly. Okay, so after you do that, you get your inoculant. Get your inoculant. This is your inoculant. So, like I said, for every 10 kgs, what you do is you get your your three tablespoons. You get your three tablespoons. So now you get this. You now mix the it has to be mixed with thoroughly. It has to be mixed thoroughly. You have to mix it in thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Make sure that uh, these things are all mixed. The reason why I'm actually keep, I keep on changing is because the bucket is a bit smaller, so I need to make sure that these things 
a well mix. So now, after we are done, you get a. Okay. Our soya beans is now ready to be planted. So now, what we are going to do is, uh, you can come with me. Uh, let me go through it again. These lines we are seeing, these are we can you can as well call them. It's more like a, a reaper where you plant these things in the line because this one is going to increase your plant population. So now, what you do now is you actually do a semi broadcasting. Can we come closer? You actually do a semi broadcasting. This is how you do it. You can actually do semi broadcast. This one is very, very good because it increases your plant population and then you are going to have better, better yields. And then, now after that, now what you do is you come and cover them. How you cover them? You cover them lightly. You don't cover them too much, you cover them lightly. You cover them lightly, you cover them lightly, then you continue covering them lightly, like this, which means you are good to go. So what is going to happen at this stage now, this is when you, if you've got that, um, uh, the, the weed killer, that one that killed seeds of the weeds, it's supposed to be acteric if I'm not mistaken, okay, you can get that after planting here, because the field is clean, you can actually spray. When you spray, the weeds will take time to grow. Okay, sometimes it won't even grow because by the time the seeds are coming with the winds, the, the seeds of the weeds are coming with the wind, the soya beans would have grown and they would have covered everything here and then they will have no chance of growing. Okay, so that's the time. This is the best time to spray. At this point is the best time now to spray your weed killer acteric. The one which actually kills all the seeds to the weeds then you will discover that sometimes you won't even need to do the weeding okay and then another type of um, of i'm just going to talk about two types at this stage another type of weed killer is just in case you don't have this one at this moment what you do is you wait after these things germinate and then they give you about three to five leaves that's when you can do the process of of foliar fertilizer where you spray every 14 to 21 days now let's get back to weeds to weed killers now how at what time do you apply the weed killer after this process you wait until the weeds starts to appear if there are no weeds you cannot spray with weed killer okay the selective you can you can't spray if there are no weeds so what you do is you wait a bit the moment your weeds starts to appear that's when you spray but one very very important thing do not spray your weed killer if you see that your soya beans has started flowering you don't spray the moment it starts flowering you stop your, your spraying of the weed killer you stop okay okay and then at what time are you supposed to spray your weed killer or any other pesticide insecticide fungicide at what time you are supposed to spray them very early in the morning those who understand science those who understand science they will agree with me that very from uh, somewhere around from 16 to early early in the morning around 8 9 that's when the holes of the plants open that's when you find that the holes open that's when they suck the food and that's when they do everything okay including those insects which are in your plants that's when they come out to start feeding on your plant so once you spray very early in the morning or late in the afternoon you will find that your weed killer will be very effective your insect side your pest side your fungal side will be very effective you cannot spray your plants at midday because by then all the pores in the in the plants would have closed you know that even human beings has openings here is same with plants okay they've got holes which they use to feed so once you actually spray during daytime, you will discover that you'll be blaming the manufacturers that your weed killer, your insects, and these other things are not working. But if you follow these simple instructions, you will discover that you will have a good harvest. 
that's not about beans. Most of the time, this is the same field I planted my soya beans last time. Because like I said, I don't have land of my own. I rent each time I want to do farming. That's that about weed killers and insecticide and stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching my program. And remember, if you've got any comment, if you've got any contribution, if you want to ask me any question, feel free to get in touch with me. My numbers are the same. 0977 So better still, 0966 987051 Please, when you give me that call, please go straight to the point. But when you send me a WhatsApp message, a text message, these two, avoid greetings. Okay, you can greet me and go straight to the point. Rather than saying, hi, mad father, you go quiet. Expect me to respond. I don't feel respond because I've been overwhelmed by messages. So you can greet me, mad farmer, how are you? And then you go straight to the point for the benefit of uh, in the interest of time. Because once you just greet me, I'm not going to respond because there are a lot of messages which are always waiting for me. And then if I don't respond, please bear with me. Bear with me. I will definitely respond. Even if it means after three, four days, I will definitely respond to you messages those who give me direct calls please always ensure that you are actually asking me follow-up questions those on facebook my facebook page is the mad farmer Kapata. the mad farmer Kapata. the space mad as m-a-d space and farmer Kapata. or oh, those on youtube is mad farmer Kapata. mad farmer Kapata. let's get farming remember farming is a business thank you so much Ah, ah.